Good morning, investors. My name is Billy Cam from the COSEC Investment and Advisory Team. Today's Thursday, the 18th of August, and here is your pre-market wrap. The Australian share market rose 0.31% on Wednesday to $7,127.7. In the US, all the major markets tumbled, with the Russell 2000 being the worst performer, down 1.64%. The Nasdaq was down 1.25%, while the S&P 500 dropped 0.72%. Retail sales were flat in July, but are expected to rise in August. Goldman Sachs estimates that households have around US $2.2 trillion in excess savings. It says this would provide important support for spending levels in the event of an economic slowdown. In Europe, all the major markets ended in the red, with the German DAX being the worst performer, down 2%. The French CAC was down 0.97%, but the London FTSE was down 0.27%. Data showed British consumer price inflation rose to 10.1% in July, which was its highest level since February 1982. In Asia, the markets posted positive results, with the Nikkei being the top performer up 1.23%. The Hang Seng was up 0.46%, while the Shanghai was up 0.45%. In China, there is hope that the government will provide support to prop up the messy property sector. Moving to commodities, Iron ore dropped 3.5% to 100 US dollars per tonne, while oil rose 1.1%, trading at 93.3 US dollars per barrel. China is the world's dominant producer of rare earths and has raised its annual quota. The quota has risen by a quarter to a record high in the wake of rising global demand. Crypto markets dropped overnight with Bitcoin down 2.2%, trading for 23,400 US dollars. Ethereum has also dropped 2% and is trading for $1,830 US dollars. Finally, for this morning, our SPY futures are down 0.18% to $7,019. This market wrap has been brought to you by COSEC, Kodari Securities.